Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing the Mezco Toys comic Hellboy. This is based on Mike Mignola's art. Made in 2006. Retail price was about 15 bucks. Very comic accurate. For his accessories, this Hellboy includes the good old Samaritan. Fits in his hand or belt. Here's a close up. Basic looking gun, but it gets the job done. Also, he comes with this belt, which is also removable. Belt comes with the cross. And the horseshoe. Cross is also removable so you could put it as a necklace for him. And this is how he looks without the belt. Okay and now on to articulation. So Hellboy has a ball joint in the head. He looks up pretty good and down and it looks natural you don't have any weird gapage his arms stiff they go more than 90 and if you force it or have one you can use a hair dryer it'll go even more higher than that Bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, then he has a wrist swivel, and then he has a hinge. The hinge going backwards doesn't move as much as the hinge when you use it to go forward. Kind of looks awkward when you do that, but if you don't bend as much, it's not that weird. Also, on the right side, the Hand of Doom rotates and there's a ball joint right here. He has a ball joint on the upper chest but usually you don't get much movement because it's stuck. It also turns to the side but you gotta be careful because this is an older figure, you don't want it to break. And then he has a waist swivel. It doesn't look as good without the belt, the belt kind of hides it. Without it, it looks kind of ugly. And then he has ball jointed legs. Goes out that much. If you force it, probably go a little bit more. But still better than a Marvel Legend Spider-Man. Thigh swivel. Single jointed knee. He has no ankle articulation. Most of the Hellboy figures don't because it will break up the sculpt. And he has a, some tail articulation. Swivels right here. 360. Does a 360 mid. At the lower end of the tail. Most of the time you can use the tail to balance him. This is Hellboy. The, based on the comic, not the movie. Played by Ron Palmerman. And here's some close-up. You can see all the etching details straight out of the comic book. Also nice shading in the legs for the shorts. And that is Hellboy for you. Thanks for watching.